is no other choice. There was no other choice. What is right is to strike before they do. Your weapon is an extension of your mind. You must use it as such. You have eyes to see and hands when your weapon is not enough. When you're forced into something, you learn two things, how to fight and how to survive. It's interesting to see your father lose. At that moment, you realize there is no hope. It's interesting to grow up before your body does and to have death be expected of you. When you don't have a choice, it's easy to let the mind wander. And the mind is a dangerous place. And some say, I am lucky to be a man. They took my father and my mother, but they did not take me. They won't take me. And if I have to kill every last one of the scum with my bare hands, I will do it. I saw blood that was not mine two days ago. I was not the cause. When a man lets the life leave his eyes, he is no longer a man. I have never seen my own. I was given a gun two days after. It is no longer heavy because I am strong. Sometimes I aim at the trucks as they pass. And as I see the white faces pass my barrel, I think, do they think cameras have the same power? If so, I'd like to ride in a truck. Then maybe I could get a camera too. When you become a man, you learn two things, how to shoot to kill and how to disappear. I learned both in the same day, which must mean I am a man. But I don't feel like one. My commander always tells me when you need something, you take it. Food, take it. Property, take it. Girl, take it. In a girl, I see an opportunity. I will only live so long. A girl can make my bloodline live on. In a girl, I see a vessel for the future. She can be my slave, she can be my wife. She is young, she will listen. I am young, I will listen. There is no other choice. I must submit or they shoot me. If I resist, they shoot me. If I scream, they shoot me. Silence, violence, in endless cycle. They choose who they want to marry. They choose from the lives they have stolen. Hundreds of us beaten and made pregnant against our will, some as young as 12. Hundreds of us locked in one big room, brought in on trucks where mass rape is synonymous with staying alive and assault is synonymous with holy union. 100 degree heat, these walls don't shelter me. These hands won't protect me. My voice grows weak, my mind grows weary. My body is a battleground, hundreds of little battlegrounds, hundreds of us taken. Take it. It's not stealing if it didn't belong to anyone before. She's parked in the house with the rest of the girls. I take her into another room. I take her to mate, to marry. I take her, I make her. I plant my seeds so I can live on. 
as it says in the manual, I must do what is virtuous, I must do what is right. And they see it as worship. He says he's doing it to get closer to his God. God, please help me. Is my body's only purpose to carry on these soldiers' genes? Do I matter beyond what my body can do? What her body can do is create the next generation of what we've created. She's a part of an important plan for self-perpetuation of man. Her captivity praised in the eyes of my savior, for she is of the wrong faith. And my God blesses this affair. And they pray. And we pray sometimes too. They make us sick, they take us, they make us so sick. What can I do? What can she do? You only matter when I decide what you're good for. Everything I am, everything I could be, everything that is uniquely me. I take it. <laughs>